Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Borderlands 2. What we're going to be doing in this video is show you guys a lot of awesome glitches that you can do while here in Sanctuary. Keep in mind some of these glitches are going to involve grenade jumping. Some of these glitches are going to put you underneath the map, some of them are going to put you on top of the map, some of them are going to put you in weird places that for whatever reason have secret chests in them. There's going to be a lot of cool things here, but keep in mind you are going to need Sanctuary to be in the air for a lot of these glitches to actually work. Some of them you'll need Sanctuary to be in the air, but other times you will. Now of course of course, I don't want to spoil anything for those of you guys that haven't actually played Borderlands 2's campaign all the way through yet, but you're going to need to have Sanctuary in the air for a lot of these glitches to actually go ahead and work. The first one we're going to go ahead and do is one that I did a lot during my playthrough of Borderlands 2 because I was playing as Craig the Psycho, and this glitch is actually going to make it very nice if you're a melee character like Craig, or perhaps you're going with a melee build on Zero here. It's very nice because you can actually get into the target dummy's room and actually melee him, which is pretty nice. So what you want to do is go in here, you want to go up onto this corner, and then you're going to want to jump on top of this door, and then hop right up. See, very simple. You go from corner to door to up here. Very, very nice and easy. You're already outside of the map. Look at this go. Now this next part is part I'm probably going to mess up on is we're going to be jumping over into Marcus's room. So we're basically just going to run and jump, and you want to aim for these this uh walkway here. I guess it's not really a walkway. You want to aim for this corner right here. Now, right here, it's actually very, very dark. I'm going to brighten this up in the video for you, but you're going to want to drop down, and you want to make sure you're hugging this wall, all right? It's actually pretty funny. There's a Marcus vending machine here outside of the map. We're actually going to be showing you why that's here, but keep in mind, keep hugging the wall, keep hugging the wall, all right? And here, we can actually go inside, if I can remember exactly how to get in there. Ah, right through here. We can actually get inside of Marcus's little area. Now, watch this. You talk to him, I don't know if you guys can hear that, perhaps if you're wearing a headset, but this is the same vending machine as the vending machine outside. Marcus himself is actually linked to this vending machine, which you can hear that's right on the other end of this wall. Pretty interesting in my own personal opinion. So let's head back out here, though. And once again, I'm going to be keep trying to brighten this up for you guys, because I know it can get very dark out here. Um, you want to continue walking along the wall. Just keep edging yourself along the wall. Edge, 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 edge. And right here, you got to be careful. Got to be super careful. Just keep on edging and then walk forward. And then, bam, here you are. You are actually inside here. So this is something I did a ton while I was playing as Craig the Psycho. Of course, once again, if you're going to play as a Melee Zero, it's also very nice because you can get in here and you can practice exactly how much uh, damage you're going to be doing with your Melee and things like that. It's definitely very, very nice if you're a Melee character. There's also some other stuff that you can do. Uh, for example, let's go back outside of here real quick and see if I can not fall down to my death. Eh, 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 there we go. I didn't fall down to my death. I assumed I would. I really assumed I would because it's so dark here. My monitor's not very bright as it is. But uh, you can, of course, go in here. You can go underneath the stairs and you can get inside this room. Another thing that you could do, but we're not going to have time to do it right now, is instead of jumping down here, you can also just jump on top. And then from there, you actually be able to uh, be on top of the different rooms, of course, here throughout Marcus's. You can walk around on top of these platforms up there. Lots of cool stuff you can do from this area. And here we are back outside. Once again, this is the area in which we jumped over there to get inside Marcus's building. But instead, we're going to be turning around and we're actually going to be trying to jump through these pipes. Now, keep in mind, it can sometimes take you a while. Sometimes I get on my first try. Other times, it takes me literally 10 minutes to be able to get through these pipes. But uh, you just want to jump through them and then you'll actually be outside of the map. Now, there are some invisible barriers and there are some places for you to go. But I'm going to be showing you a couple things in particular. Because I do want you guys to actually explore these for yourselves. So, if you just come on over here, you can actually get on top of the Crimson Base. Now, I would fail that jump, but you can actually get on top of the Crimson Base itself. Now, once you're up here, you can actually crouch and look down inside, which is pretty fun. I think some people think that's kind of neat. There's also lots of areas you can fall in. But uh, you come on over here, and you can actually see there's Brick, and there's Lilith, and there's Mordecai. Kind of a cool little area. Now, like I said about exploring this stuff for yourself, I don't want to show you exactly every single little area you can get to out here, just because I want you guys to explore for yourselves and have some fun that way. Because even me, who's been doing these glitches for literally years now, I just found out about something brand new today while preparing for this video so while just jumping around here preparing for this video and just trying to you know make sure I can do all these glitches still I end up finding that if you go along all of these uh, metal pipes here there's actually going to be a little money loot chest thing on the other end which is pretty crazy so what we're going to be trying to do in this video for you guys where hopefully I don't fail it is I'm going to try to jump along all of these metal pipes and I'm going to try to get over there to the chest itself for you guys so you can see exactly where it is once again just kind of hammering home that you should definitely explore for yourselves because there's lots of cool things for you to always find with these glitches keep in mind I've been doing these glitches for ages 
there's the chest itself right there. I've been doing these glitches for ages and I never actually knew about this thing until today when I was just doing glitches to see how far over here I could get. And I'm like, way, wow, why is this here? Why is that here? I don't know why that's here, but it's totally here. So it's definitely kind of a cool spot. And you're also able to get on top of this thing, which is weird. Some of these things you can fall through, some of them you can actually get on top of. But uh, yeah, I thought it was kind of a neat little thing. that There's a little money box placed outside of the map. Why is it there? I have no idea. But it's definitely there. And it's just one of those things that kind of rewards you for actually exploring a little bit. Next up here, we're going to be doing some grenade jumps. Now, I want to preface this by saying, if you main Craig the Psycho, Craig the Psycho is your main character. As you guys know, Craig is my main character. You're going to have some difficulty with these jumps. That's why I'm playing on my Zero right now, because it's actually very difficult for Craig to actually do grenade jumps by the very nature that he's heavier than the rest of the Vault Hunters, right? Does that make sense? Craig is literally heavier. The reason for that is, is during testing of Craig himself, of course, is his ability is he runs around with his axe and he hits people, and when you're hitting Hitting bosses or hitting big characters, they were continuously knocking Craig back, and as a result of that, he wasn't able to continue to melee them. It was making it so his ability wasn't very good. So what they did was they increased the mass on Craig, making it so he's a heavier character. So when he gets knocked back, he doesn't get knocked back as far. But part of that is you can't do grenade jump glitches as easily with Craig, and you can't do things like the Happy Pig Motel with Craig. A plus side is when Terramorphus actually sucks you in, Craig the Psycho himself actually gets sucked in a lot slower and usually doesn't die from it, which is pretty nice. But just keep in mind, you're going to have some difficulty with this stuff if you are playing as Craig. Now, we're going to want to get on top of that and get on top of these roofs here. Now, this is actually something I found with my friend Toucan. He actually ended up finding it uh, before I did. We saw this guy up here, this Sanctuary Citizen, and we're like, I want to get up there, but there's no way to get up there normally. So we're going to be doing some grenade jumps to get there. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your inventory and make sure you have no grenades actually selected. Of course, I have grenade mods and stuff here, but you don't want to have, oops, any grenade mod actually selected. All right, you want to have it completely empty because of this we're actually going to be jumping with our grenades so you want to throw your grenade at the ground and you want to run and you want to jump and then the grenade's going to hit you and it's going to shoot you across which is pretty cool the whole point of grenade jumping is that you end up taking a little bit of explosive damage from the grenade itself and it's going to launch you even further than you would actually be if you were just normally jumping right you can tell just by if you've played borderlands you can't make that jump that's too far of a jump but with the little boost for that grenade will give you you can actually make your way over to this roof now like i said about exploring i want you guys to actually explore with this you can go a lot of cool places you can get on top of that roof you can get on top of that roof you can get down there there's lots of cool places you can go if you go this way which i want you guys to explore for that that for yourselves i'm actually just going to be showing you this where we're going to throw a grenade on the ground we're going to run we're going to jump and we're actually going to get shot up here to the sanctuary citizen how you doing buddy i taste blood I taste blood too for whatever reason. It doesn't taste very good, does it? It's got like an irony taste to it. But you can actually look through here through the wall, right? You can look through here. You can't get inside this building, sadly, but you can in fact get up here just like I showed you. Now, you can also, let's see if I can get up on this edge. You can get up here and you can jump on top of Mad Moxie's bar. Unfortunately, you can't go very far with this. Yeah, there's a barrier making it so you can't walk along the middle of the building itself. And there's also a barrier right here making it so you can't go any further this way either. But you can in fact get on top of there. And like I said, you can. Uh, uh, go the opposite direction of where I went and go across these buildings and stuff over there. But I'd like for you guys to explore that stuff for yourselves, right? Because there's a lot of fun with doing these glitches. You can see me do these, but the fun of it is actually doing it for yourselves, right? So now we're going to be getting on top of Moxie's bar from the other side and actually getting underneath the map a little bit. Now, this is kind of an infamous glitch within Borderlands 2. A lot of people consider it to be the Miss Moxie underskirt glitch, which is uh, it, it's kind of that, but, you know, yeah, once again Again, you guys can explore that kind of stuff for yourself. So, have you been following me so far? We jump on top of that, and then we jump on top of that, then we jump on top of that, jump across there, get on top of there, get on top of here, then jump across to this. Now, once you're over here, you're going to want to continuously jump until you get on top in this middle area right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is throw your grenade down on the ground, wait for it to bounce once, jump up in the air, and then it's going to bounce you up here in the air. Now, once you're on top of this roof, which is already kind of a cool little thing, we're here on top of Pierce Station, named after Helena Pierce, which is kind of cool, a big, a big character in the board lane series especially from borderlands one uh we're on top of the station which is already a cool glitch in of itself now we're going to be making our way over to that building. Now, this is the part that I've been doing this glitch for years, right? I've known about this glitch for years. I've been doing it for years, but I've screwed it up so many times. It's very easy to screw up. So if I screw up here in this video, forgive me on that. We'll just cut to when I actually can do it right. But basically what you want to do is you want to throw a grenade down on the ground, wait for it to bounce, jump, 
take the jump and make your way across. Now, like I said, I screw up this glitch so many times. Like, I screwed up a ridiculous amount of times. So we're just going to go ahead and cut to the part where I actually do it correctly. And we've made our way across. It's some hard for me to actually get that right. I've always screwed up on this. I've known about this glitch for ages. I've done it tens of dozens of times, yet I always seem to screw it up. But yes, if you actually do it just right, you can land on this building across here. There's some places you can go. I believe you can go down to there. I'm not sure how far you can go over there. Once again, I want you guys to explore for yourselves. But you, the big thing I want to show you here, I know you can get down there in that dump. You want to run over here, then you just want to run and jump and land on top of Moxie's bar itself. Now, once you're over on top of Moxie's bar, once again, there's going to be a barrier here making so we can't walk towards the middle but you can in fact go left here and you can actually land outside of the map actually outside of moxie's bar now once you're out here you can actually see the vending machines and stuff and you can actually crouch and be under moxie's bar and do the creepiness thing with moxie right there which i'm not going to do in this video but you can definitely do that it's one of the things that you can do and you can go back around this way and just kind of freak out your friends sometimes let's say you're playing with a friend and you know he's just hanging out here then maybe he goes to grab a drink or something he comes back he's like hey where are you you're like i'm over here and he'll be so confused as to how you got out here with all the cool stuff you can do now that i've shown you guys just about everything i kind of want to give you guys a little mission to go ahead and try these glitches of course there's a lot of smaller glitches that you can do which really aren't uh, I, w I wouldn't really call them glitches because you can just kind of run and jump and do them like for example you can get on top of this roof you can run and jump and bam you're on top of scooter's garage you can get on top of here and run around if you want to there's little things like this that you can do but i want you guys to go ahead and just try some of these glitches out here in borderlands 2 because they're a lot of fun to be able to get the places that you have seen so much about the borderlands series right you've seen you've been in sanctuary so many times right you've played this game so much but have you gotten on top of these glitches have you gotten to these places have you gone up there and talked to that citizen up there have you done that have you gotten on top of this roof and stuff over here i didn't show you that in the video but you can definitely do it i want you guys to try it for yourselves right i want you guys to have some fun with this have you gotten on top of scooter's garage have you gotten outside of the map and actually gone and gotten that money chest have you of course gone back down there into marcus's building right have you gone in there and have you meleeed the training dummy and gotten inside of that room there's lots of cool stuff for you guys to do have you gotten on top of pier station lots of cool stuff for you to do with glitches here in sanctuary and i want you guys to go ahead and try them out because there's a lot of cool stuff for you to explore and i want you guys to try that when you're when you go to a new place if you go to a zone here in borderlands 2 just try out some stuff try out some nade jumps and just really kind of try and see where exactly it is you can get to because there's lots of cool places for you to go lots of things for you to do lots of things for you to see so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves hope you guys all have a wonderful day